everyone. Thanks for joining us and checking out this video. We're going to be talking about what equipment to look for when you're buying a kit. This was a question we got a couple weeks ago during a live and we talked a little bit about it, but there was kind of a lot that we could do to expand on it. So we're going to switch cameras and start talking about what tips you should look for in a good starting kit. All right, so there's kind of five main classes that you wanna make sure you have at least some variety of if you're looking for a basic kit. And most of them have at least 16 to 25 pieces. So usually there's some of each of these five and we're gonna go over the popular styles and some of the popular numbers. The first is a plain round tip, right? So you can see it just has a plain round opening. This one is a number 12, it's really large. Popular numbers would be one, two, three, five, seven, and 12. Any of those will give you a nice variety for making uh, little treats and decorations. The second is a star. You can see it has little tines on the end and it's gonna give you little ridges as you pipe, right? It's great for borders. There's a couple of popular sizes. This one is a 21. Other things like 14, 16, and 18 will give you some nice variety. Right, And then there's the petal tips. You can use these for ruffles, making flowers, work with your piping nail or piping directly on your cakes. Popular sizes, 104, 101, and 105. Then there are your leaf tips. And these, there's two different styles. So I'm just gonna talk a little about those. You can use either one. They give you the same finished look. It's just a slightly different opening to achieve it. Right, so the first one is shaped like a W, right? So you can see it has a little notch in the top, right? And then it has a nice slit style opening, right? And this one is my preferred one, right? It's more of a European style leaf tip and it has a V shaped opening, right? kind of looks a little bit like a little duck's beak if you put it on its side. I find they're a little easier to use, a little easier to store. Sometimes when I have a bunch of these stored together, they'll nest and they'll push those little tines together. And that can create some issues because then you have to widen the opening and it creates some wear on your tips. So just for ease of use and storage, I prefer these a little bit, but really they're both easy to use uh, and they'll both give you the same effect. And then the last major kind of group would be the ribbon or basket weave tips. These are just a flat kind of rectangular shaped opening, right? And they're great for doing basket weaves on the side of the cake. Some of them are flat on both sides. Some of them will have little tines on one side and will give you little textured lines and you can use them to do a few different things. I'm gonna move this paper off, right? And I'm gonna switch some of these on to my bag and I'm gonna go ahead and pipe, right? So for your rounds, there's a few different things that are easy to do with them, right? One, they're great for making an outline if you're gonna fill your cake, right? You can use them to do things like dots, or borders. And there's kind of a variety of different borders you can use them to do. Or just even lines, right? So if you need to draw an outline on your cake. So they're really versatile and having a good set that has a whole bunch of different sizes everything kind of between one and 12 in the numbers is a really good idea. The second probably most popular would be your star and it's also gonna be used a lot for borders. But there's also some other fun things that you can do with your star tip. So in addition to just making stars, you can use them to do things like shell borders, a 
ropes, right? You can also do things like rosettes, right? And that'll give you a nice finish, not just on top of things like cupcakes, cakes, you can use it to cover the whole side of the cake. So it's a very versatile tip when you're just starting to decorate and learning how to handle things, right? Our petal tips get most of their use on the flower nail and can get used to pipe actual flowers, but you can also use them to do ruffles and various other things. Right, so there's a variety of ruffles, ridges, and things you can do with your petal tips in addition to creating actual petals that would make up flowers. Right. Our leaf tips. For the most part, you're gonna use those when you're decorating flower arrangements on your cakes. But you can also use them to make a variety of ruffles and other things, so. Right, so there's a variety of leaves that you can make, and you can also use them to make ruffles and simple borders as well. So there's a few things you can do there. And then finally, we have our ribbon or basket weave tip and its primary function would be to do a basket weave, but it's gonna give you a large flat line, so you can use it for some other things as well. So if you wanna do stripes up and down the sides of your cakes, or make little kind of geometric designs and patterns, it's a nice broad flat tip. And it's really useful. So whether we're going to do a basket weave or something simpler, it's a really nice tip to have in your kit. And if you're still working on the sides of your cake, a basket weave is a good way to practice your piping and also to cover the sides of your cake, right? So simple basket weave, but there's also other things that you can do with it as well, right? So that's just a quick introduction to the five main categories that I would look for when I'm picking out a kit. You wanna make sure it's got some rounds, some stars, a few petal tips, a leaf tip, at least one, and a couple of the ribbon or basket weave tips. Most kits have a few little extra items kind of thrown in. So some things to look for if you're purchasing one are a tip brush. This will help you take care of your tips. And as you can see, it looks a lot like a little baby bottle brush, right? It's got some little um, bristles on that end and a little brush on the other end. And it'll just help you keep everything clean and sanitary, really get in there, get the excess frosting out, especially if you use anything like royal icing, sometimes it can crust down in there, and it really helps you get your nice warm and soapy water in there and really wash everything out. Another thing would be couplers, right? A lot of tips will come with one or, sorry, kits will come with one or two standard couplers. These are gonna be used for your standard size tips, and it'll allow you to do what I've done in this video, which is use one bag and change it for multiple uses with multiple tips. Right. 
The other thing that often comes with tip kits are a flower nail, right? So you can use this to pipe flowers on top, right? And that'll have help you because you turn your flower nail and it keeps you from having to do what I did on the tray, which was turn the tray, which is big and awkward, right? And then there's a few other things that sometimes get thrown in. There's some different specialty tips, like this one is a grass tip. You can see it has multiple openings. Uh, it can be used to do things like the shag style cakes that are kind of having a moment right now. Um, and it's really fun if you want to do things like Cookie Monster or a soccer ball cake and you need to pipe some grass. It's a great way to pipe a lot of little furry lines really quickly. And then there's things like flower tips. These have openings similar to a star tip with the exception that you can see all the points are curved towards the center, right? So when you pipe, it'll give you petals that you have to um, pipe and twist at the same time. And you can literally just pipe a flower with one squeeze. So those are really nice too. It'll help you play around with control um, and help you work on your piping skills in addition to being a fast way to effectively pipe some flowers really quickly. And then there's some oversized tips. So if it comes with anything like some Russian tips or some large decorator tips, that's always a nice bonus. These are things that you'll get a lot of use out of. And then probably one of my favorites and least used is the Bismarck tip. It's really long. It looks funny. If it comes with one of those, that's always a bonus. If you're going to be making any pastries, this one is one you'll use to fill things like donuts, eclairs, and cream puffs. And these are the things that I look for when I'm picking out a kit. We hope you enjoyed this video and that you'll subscribe to our channel if you liked it. And if you have any suggestions or ideas about things you would like to see, please leave them in the comments below for us and check out our lives on Insta on Wednesdays.